I've got some great news for you if you're applying to law school this cycle. For those who don't know me, my name is Steve Schwartz. I've been teaching the LSAT since 2005, and I personally increased my own LSAT score from a 152 to a 175. Now, you may have heard some rumors, you may have seen some posts out there saying that law school applicant volume is way up this cycle. And yes, that is true. And that might sound bad because you might think to yourself, more applicants for a limited number of seats is going to make for a more competitive cycle. And yes, that would be true if law school applicant volume was as high as early reports indicate. However, early reports based on a limited sample size can oftentimes be extremely misleading. So if you've seen people saying law school applications are up 38% or applicant volume is up 26%, year over year. That's based on a very limited number of people. It's barely even two months into the cycle. And so things can and will change significantly as time goes on. There are also some reasons why year over year increases or year over year differences are not as meaningful as they would otherwise be because this year is unique and last year was also unique. This year, people are taking the LSAT and applying earlier than in previous cycles because of the LSAT format change. For those who are not aware, earlier this year, LSAC removed the logic game section from the LSAT and replaced it with a second scored logical reasoning section. This was the biggest change to the LSAT in over 30 years, and a lot of people were rushing to take the LSAT before games were removed, June being the last LSAT with logic games, and then a lot of other people who would have taken the LSAT in June waited until August and took it then so they could take it without the logic game section. But for either group, they were aiming for either June or August when maybe in other years they would have been taking it later in the fall. And so you have a large cohort of people, many of whom were uniquely high scorers, taking the LSAT relatively early. And so this is not only a reason for many people to be taking the LSAT and applying earlier, it is also a reason for a lot of high scorers to be taking the LSAT earlier. And so according to the most recently released LSAT data at the time of recording this video, applicants in the 165 to 169 range were up 33.6% year over year. Applicants in the 170 to 174 range were up 37.5% year over year. And applicants in the 175 to 180 range are up 30% year over year. These percentages will drop significantly. Early data can and oftentimes is volatile. And so you should interpret that with severe caution. These percentages will go down, both the percentages of high scoring LSAT applicants, as well as the number of applicants overall. Additionally, I mentioned this year was unique and last year was also unique. This year being unique because of the LSAT format change, last year was uniquely slow because of the Supreme Court's ban on affirmative action. Law schools were in the process of updating their admissions processes, their application essay prompts, after the Supreme Court ban on race-based affirmative action. And so this is yet another factor making these sorts of year-over-year -year comparisons less reliable. We can expect that these initial high percentage increases will level off. And overall, we can probably expect an overall applicant increase of roughly 10-15% at most by the end of the cycle. This would be in line with what we've seen during previous presidential election years, like in 2016 and in 2020, the so-called Trump bump phenomenon. The idea being that in years where Trump is a presidential candidate, we can expect a significant increase in the number of people applying to law school because folks are more politically engaged. A lot of law school applicants, liberal, looking to make a difference within the system by becoming attorneys. So that is one factor that could lead to some increase relative to last year, but not nearly 25 or 30 percent like these early stats would indicate. We can also expect that if the economy improves and unemployment drops, we will see fewer people applying to law school because law school applicant numbers increase when the economy is bad and they decrease when it's good. And so economic conditions may moderate the increase in law school applicants as well. Now, we will expect GPA medians to continue to rise as grade inflation isn't going anywhere and law schools are always looking to raise their GPA medians and LSAT medians will likely also rise as well. But the good news is, even though if your GPA is probably pretty fixed, 
by the point that you're applying to law school, you still have significant room to increase your LSAT score and increase your chances of admission. And you still have a number of opportunities to increase your LSAT score and retake the LSAT. The LSAT is offered eight times a year. We have, of course, coming up January and February. The January LSAT is not too late and the February LSAT is not too late either. January LSAT scores come back February 5th. Plenty of time to get your applications in before deadlines. February LSAT scores come back February 26th. Also, not too late for virtually every single law school in the U.S. And law schools will not penalize you for having multiple LSAT scores on record. They do not average multiple LSAT scores, but rather they only take the highest score. And so if you are looking to get that LSAT score up, if you've tried self-study or video courses and they just aren't doing it for you, please reach out. I'd be glad to help. At LSAT Unplugged, we offer live online classes via Zoom. We offer small group coaching and one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. You can check out the links below to find out more and to book a call with me and my team. We'd be glad to help you out. And in the meantime, I'll wish you all the best and take care.